You've heard about Lake Buena Vista, right? Well, stick around in this video where you'll learn all about the host community of Walt Disney World. Hello, everyone. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updated whenever I release new videos about Disney history, theme park history, books, and so much more. Lake Buena Vista is more than just the host community for Walt Disney World. It was also going to be central to the ultimate vision that Walt Disney had for the planned community of Epcot. Well, not really Walt's vision, but the easiest way that the company leaders could figure out how to do it post-Walt. As we jump back in time, imagine the entire area that I'm discussing is the area consumed by Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort today. Known by many names over the ensuing years, the Lake Buena Vista Resort started out with an entirely different focus even after construction began. Originally, the 1973 plans called for a residential development with four different community themes based on golf, tennis, boating, and western. A lot of construction took place in 1974, 133 townhomes and four model homes. The following year, Disney announced a retirement community, additional townhomes, and residential apartments for Lake Buena Vista. The 60 treehouse homes were finished by 1975. Then Disney changed plans. See, if they allowed people to take up residence in Lake Buena Vista, they would become citizens, citizens with voting rights. Voting rights that could block possible expansion of the Magic Kingdom and the Walt Disney World property. So, Disney changed the focus of the community to vacation villas, treehouse villas, club lake villas, and fairway villas, basically an alternative to the typical resort hotels. It wasn't until later that the decision would have been forced to rotate the people living in the community every three months or, you know, or so. And this would have stopped anyone outside of the company leaders living on property from being voting citizens. Let's take a look at the accommodations that were available until the late 1990s and early 2000s. Many of the villas were slowly taken over by the Disney Institute before Saratoga Springs redeveloped the area for the Disney Vacation Club. The following descriptions are from a 1978 Walt Disney World publication. Treehouse Villas and Vacation Villas Winding pathways connect the village and the club to the Treehouse Villas and Vacation Villas. Both types of accommodations are available for overnight rentals, complete vacation packages, and corporate incentive vacation and leasing plans. Hidden in the woods bordering the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, the two bedroom treehouses are unusual treetop retreats. Each comes with modern appliances, peaceful solitude, and a spectacular view. In fact, a few regal peacocks are likely to be your only close neighbors. For larger families and groups, the spacious one and two bedroom vacation villas provide plenty of room. Elegantly furnished, both types of villas have kitchenware, a color television, linens, and daily housekeeping service. Plus, guests receive complimentary motor coach transportation to the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World Resorts. Okay, it was obvious that Disney was pretty serious about selling and promoting these accommodations to businesses that might be interested in a Walt Disney World retreat. In the following clipping from the August 1972 Eyes and Ears, we see a smiling Emil Curry inside one of the villas. As you will note, he designed the interiors. And I quote, Right at home in one of our city of Lake Buena Vista townhouses is Emil Curry, who designed the interiors of the executive retreats. Emil designed movie sets for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Mary Poppins, and others. New townhouses are being built and are available on a lease basis to major U.S. corporations who use the facilities for entertainment of clients and employees. A friend of mine stayed in one of the vacation villas in 1986 and graciously shared his photos with me. Obviously, they were celebrating a birthday. These photos are great since they show a lot of the interiors. So yes, that's my friend driving the boat with his sister and dad looking on. 
Great views of the exterior of the villas in the background. A shot of my friend's sister standing in the middle of the resort. <laughs> Can you say Cabbage Patch doll? That definitely dates the photograph. The little guy was asleep, but you can see the staircase and the artwork. So looking at the photo of Emil to see him standing in the stairwell, there were some cosmetic changes that had been made since the villages opened. A shot of the family room and a shelf. Check out the mirrored wall. Groovy. Dig that wallpaper and those furnishings, but any view of the interiors is a great view. So many great details. The furniture, the kitchen cabinets, the high chair, the table, and the artwork. So much going on in this image. So here's another quote about the Fairway Villas. Energy-saving Fairway Villas under construction along the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course will be the newest addition to the resort community when they begin welcoming guests this summer. The villas expected to yield energy savings of 50% with their unique design. Each have a 720 square foot living, dining, and kitchen area and two bedrooms, one of which can be combined with the adjoining villa. Designed for family vacations, meetings, seminars, and executive conferences, the villa units will be arranged so that as many as four bedrooms can be rented by one tenant. There were also four grand Vista suites and club suites but there isn't a lot of published information about them. Do you have any more information about those suites? Leave me a comment and let me know. Did you ever get a chance to stay at any of these villas? Do you have any memories or photos? The Lake Buena Vista was truly an amazing part of Walt Disney World, especially during the first couple of years when the company was still trying to figure out how to build Epcot and Walt's final dream. They made a lot of promises to the legislature and other companies and they needed to do something, but they also knew they couldn't really have people living in the area, or as I mentioned earlier, they'd get voting rights. And we know they didn't want anybody telling them what to do with their property. Leave me a comment and let me know if you ever stayed at any of the vacation villas in the Lake Buena Vista Resort area. I would love to hear from you. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.